Man, things just got crazy. DW Flame literally walked out of a live podcast episode of the No Jumper Show. Apparently, Adam got under his skin when he accused DW Flame of having bad bitch energy. Well, okay, this is the thing about DW, is that, no disrespect. Oh my god, don't do that. You kind of have bad bitch energy. Like, you want us to be on top of making sure... Like, you know what I mean? Like, he wants us to, like, really be hitting him up to get him to come to the party. No? You got bad bitch energy, babe. Stop playing. Don't do that. Is too much? <laughs> Brick Baby defends DW's actions and hints that DW doesn't really know Adam like that. <sighs> oh, wow. You tell me. Do you think that that was, like... It, it, that's what I say about... See, we you haven't got with him uh, uh, enough. Like, some people play the like game where you know what I'm saying and some people don't bro like but me I play with my friends like that so me and you we could talk like that shit like all the time hell even the super chat notes that by saying Adam should have chosen better words and that the b word was just too extreme another thing to note was that DW never really looked comfortable from the start of this taping and to compound that DW's significant other was in the studio. Perhaps that's why he felt super disrespected. She thought he was joking yeah, too. She's like, he'll be right back. Go back. <laughs> and then I seen her come and grab her purse. And I'm like, oh, because he's not coming back. You know how when you in front of your girl and you try to overreact to any type of disrespect, maybe that was the triggering point for DW. Who knows? Adam then tries to get reflective and admits he can get too edgy sometimes. The people out there can think of a lot of examples of different times that I've said stuff that was like really on the edge of like too offensive for me to be bringing to the table in terms of like, when you think about the kind of jokes that me and AD and house phone and even like people like sharp and whoever, even you, I have a very edgy sense of humor. We know that never well, did. I, I think that. that that bad bitch energy would be over the line because I realize it has the word bitch in it because to him, it, it it was interpreted like you be acting like a bitch, like a bitch that I got to call. Right. You get what I'm saying? And that's not what you meant. It was like a funny joke. Like, I mean, I took it as yeah. like a pretty clear cut like, joke, right? I really feel like Adam is being honest with himself here. But then Adam reverts to that same edginess he's referencing and says that DW walking off set won't help him beat the bad bitch energy allegations. Leaving the podcast because I made a joke about bad bitch energy is kind of bad bitch energy. It's kind of like exactly what I was joking about, but it's actually like what I was saying was kind of like a, a bad example of it, but like walking off the podcast actually is a pretty good example of it. <laughs> like, I'm not agreeing with you, Adam. I'm not doing that shit. One step forward, three steps back for Adam. After this, Adam starts to realize how crazy things can get at No Jumper. From Brick Baby's Dead Homies incident to Damn Homie vs. Sharp. You right, Adam. There's definitely something crazy in the water at the No Jumper Studios. Adam then gives great insight into how his honor antics might be providing complications for his co-hosts in real life. Particularly his overtly sexual jokes and willingness to explore topics not typically discussed in hip-hop. But then Adam does something amazing and gets into the philosophy of what he wants No Jumper to be and reveals that he believes what makes No Jumper stand out is a mix of street culture and corny white boyisms, kind of like Jackass meets Wu-Tang. Adam then starts giving game and says DW could have taken the episode to the next level had he expressed why he felt disrespected. Adam just looks totally displeased by how DW handled the situation. Now, it's important to remember that this DW blow up has some similarities to the almighty suspect argument Adam just had. It's becoming pretty clear that members of the No Jumper staff aren't taking Adam's passive aggressive shots as content and are actually getting really offended. Adam may have to do a better job of understanding what triggers his co-host and choose his words more wisely. Let me know what you think, listeners. Did Adam cross the line? Is DW dropping the ball as a content creator? And will DW come back or has Adam burnt a bridge? 
yeah, DW could come back, but if he's not able to take Adam's edgy humor, that could provide the complication, right? Could he be on the No Jumper show with Adam when Adam starts to, you know, make jokes, make inappropriate jokes? It's something we got to examine. Like, Brick Baby clearly has a rapport with Adam, so when Adam goes off the rails, he knows how to reel him back in or further the conversation. All right, y'all, leave the dialogue in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe. Once again, this is Danny from The Stop doing the science on the No Jumper universe. Oh, man, it's getting real crazy. I didn't even expect this. This came out of left field. I was just tuning in. I was minding my business. I had just eaten. I tuned into No Jumper, and DW's missing, and I'm like, oh, snap. Oh, man, as the world at No Jumper turns. All right, y'all. Peace and have a good day.